Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. And here we are with a special unboxing. And I've decided to do this at home because I want to get a bit more in depth. My unboxing of the Nubia Red Magic 3. Now this phone, it is a gaming phone. And I've reviewed a few gaming phones in the past on my channel. But I'm very interested to see this one. This one has a, some very cool features to it. Most importantly of which are the first phone ever with an actual cooling fan inside the phone to help cool the phone down in extreme gaming scenarios. Now, this is the first Nubia phone I've purchased in a long time. Uh, if you hadn't seen my live stream from yesterday, I shared the story. I owned with one Nubia phone previously, but it actually broke. It just stopped working one day, and I kind of vowed myself at that point to never try Nubia again. But here we are four or five years later, and I'm going to unbox this Nubia, see how far they've come as a company in terms of their product. So this is the 8GB 128 gig version this is not the 12 gb version but it's still going to be an interesting thing to see let's kind of look quickly at the specs here snapdragon 855 we got that internal cooling fan and cooling system 6.65 inch display 5000 milliampere battery that is beastly that is just beastly and a 48 megapixel camera uh, these are all in Chinese, guys, so bear with me. And it looks like there is 30-watt fast charging. I'll have to kind of go through a bit more of these specs later, but for now, let's get this unboxing going. Going to pull the edge there. And I just came from Hong Kong. Shout out to my guy, Lampo, for getting me this phone. Another early exclusive here on Frankie Tech. So there is the box. Pretty typical-looking gaming box. I like this kind of red logo here with a little radiating circles let's lift the lid and and there we are wow <laughs> i i'm gonna have to ask my wife what that says i can't read that i if any of you guys can read that but that is pretty cool i like that it's got this kind of shiny color to it and that's an interesting unboxing there is the phone let's put that aside for now and let's see what we have inside the box here so it looks like this is the charging cable, USB-C. Reminds me of the OnePlus look, kind of a red look. And this is the Red Mars phone. So I think it does have that red theme throughout, black and red. I got the black version of the phone, as you can see right here. I think it will look better with the lights and all that stuff. Here is the, the charging brick. And it looks to be, yeah, 30 watts. That's right. So I'm going to... Throw that aside there, and what do we have in here? I'm assuming it's the, and where is the case? <laughs> Looks like there's no case included. That's surprising. Sim ejector tool, just some books. I expected to pull a case out of here, so that is, that is actually a little bit of a letdown. No case in the box, but wow. Okay, <laughs> well, let's keep this going here. Gonna lift and this is completely new guys so this might most likely will not have google apps installed i'm gonna have to do that separately removing the film and there it is there is the nubia magic 3 and initial impressions similar to the black shark this is a tank of a phone and it may not be you know, a favorite for some people who want the more sleek looking phone. But I don't think you're, if you're the kind of person who's considering this type of gaming phone, that's not the kind of look you want in your phone. You want something that looks like a tank that looks really stealthy. And this ticks all the boxes. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Just look around the edges of the phone. Wow, there's like, a, there's the cooling fan right there. So turning this on here. And there you go. Powered by Android. Gonna move this aside. And as this is loading here, uh, I definitely am gonna kind of put, you know, spend a little bit of time here trying to put some apps on or just get this set up. But let's have a look at this phone after I've set it up and I'll give my initial thoughts of design, display, performance, audio, and quick camera shot. And so here we are, I'm in the main screen. <laughs> And this is a very red interface. It's almost like Black Shark is represented by green, and this phone is represented by the color red. Everything from all the icons, phone messages, browser, camera, 
everything has this very red neon kind of glowing look to it I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of this look but it is a gaming phone outright so let me just go to settings here real quick and I do appreciate that it is it just out of the box this kind of dark mode color there are some gestures here now bear with me guys I've never used Nubia uh, and their kind of OS I have not used this in years and on top of that uh, you know this is probably their kind of dedicated gaming software so I'm gonna have to kind of put it through its paces but just talking about that design let me just cover a few quick specs here so in terms of the phone itself one of the initial things that made this such an impressive thing is this AMOLED display it's a 6.65 inch display and it has this 90 Hertz refresh rate now just looking at it here I can tell you that there is a little bit more smoothness to the screen and just kind of scrolling here in settings I'm getting that iPad Pro Pro Motion kind of vibe it's really buttery smooth and so that 90 Hertz is definitely at least to me immediately noticeable and a 240 Hertz touch refresh rate that is probably adding to that just smoothness so that is really positive. That's something I think a lot of Android phones get wrong. The Pixel is one of the best versions of OnePlus. They do also really good refresh rate and the, the, you know, the, the experience is very smooth and buttery. It really is something that you notice. Not everyone may notice it, but I definitely notice it. And so display wise, I'm getting that vibe of the Black Shark 2. The Black Shark 2 had a very similar kind of display. And look, there is no notch on this phone. It is just one of those 18 by 9 aspect ratios I'm gonna try let me try to open up an app that actually has a white background so there you go there is the music app and you can clearly see there are some pretty prominent bezels top and bottom so if you're a bezel-less beauty lover you're not gonna like this phone and you're probably not even considering it I didn't expect the bezels to be this big but it doesn't matter because this is a gaming phone so I'll give it a pass for that similar look to the black shark in terms of that and that was interesting let's did you hear those noises there that's kind of when I it's got this gaming noise it's pretty cool and so now let's talk about performance so this is the Snapdragon 855 in the Red Magic 3 and it is an, the this is the 8 GB version not the 12 GB version I'm gonna have to check and see what else makes this phone great but at least from a performance standpoint if you are trying to get the 12 GB version it's gonna be a while my guy said it was not available yet and 12 GB I think is just it is overkill man I think 8 GB you're gonna be more than happy with getting even the 8 GB version of this phone there you go you saw that kind of graphic that was pretty cool now there are two types of internal cooling in this phone so here is the action button apparently and when I press this similar to black shark where you go into that shark space it looks like magic has its own space as well separate game space for storing handheld gaming experiences okay and get started and so there we are we are in the red magic gaming space and I wonder if that means that the lights have turned on and there you go it has this really cool strip similar to the vivo iq and it is multicolored and it is looking pretty neat look at that the other thing i wanted to mention is that there is the fingerprint scanner on the back and it looks to be in this very hexagonal look and form that is very unique as well and i can also see that we have one camera on this one this is not going to be a very important kind of feature but the one thing that I'm reading here is that is very important to consider is that this is and let me turn off space just agree to this stuff this phone apparently has 8k video shooting <laughs> which is just nuts let's have a look here and video size back video size 8k beta <laughs> recommended for outdoor use Whew! holy moly guys that is just incredible <laughs> to think I mean I don't even have do any of you guys have 8k screens I don't I don't even own I mean I own a 4k screen now and this camera shoots 8k out of the box that is insane so I'm gonna put that on let's go ahead and take BB-8 here 
and let's shoot the first 8K footage. It says shoot it in uh, outdoors, but I'm going to go ahead and shoot it right here. 8K video recording on the Nubia Magic 3. This is the test. One, two, three. So initial <laughs> impressions are that that audio sounds absolutely terrible. I'm going to have to test this out further. This is definitely in beta format, but that didn't sound too great there. So I'm going to have to definitely put it through its paces. You saw it first here with me. I tested that it's just out of the box. So I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that this doesn't have that we need to consider. But for now, <laughs> that is just insane to even consider this has that option in it. So I'll be doing, uh, let's just do a quick also camera shot here of VBA one two three and let me share this with you guys right off the bat detail looks really good there it is red magic three and I'm gonna have to test this further on that but a gaming phone no less this deserves to be played with and and it's gonna be gaming centric a gaming centric review I'm gonna be doing of this phone very soon this also is going to be joining my battery drain test, might as well, but the main thing I need to do right now is get Google Apps installed on this phone and do something about this launcher, because this launcher is just nuts. At least try to get Google Apps, but hit me up guys with any questions, any comments you have about this very stealthy looking gaming phone, the Nubia Red Magic 3, and I'll try to get more details on this phone as I use it, as I go through the experience of using it, I will be learning along alongside with you guys because there's very little information out there about this phone but I'm here to answer those questions as I start getting more familiar with this very unique software that I am not familiar with at all and just to kind of quickly wrap up this is Red Magic OS version 2 there's the 8 GB 128 gigs of storage version and we are running Android 9 Pi that's nice to see March security patch. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for future updates. So stay tuned for the full review, but definitely got to set this up further. Thanks for watching, guys. And thanks again for all you guys who joined the live stream for 60,000 subscribers. I couldn't have done it without all your wonderful support. That's it for this video. This is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Y'all have a good one.